<laughs> oh my god, this is more puzzly than the puzzle. A ten. <laughs> Alright, fly. Actually, this needs to go into it. I don't care if it's behind the scenes. It, it's oh cool. yeah, that's going in the episode. People need to know. <laughs> People need to know that we're terrible at Windows. Windows. <laughs> that's not a window. That was a horrible joke. Oh my god, what am I going to eat of that newspaper if you don't leave it alone? Hang on, I need to go give my cat a be- I mean, uh, lock her- I mean, <laughs> feed her so she'll shut up. Go get him, actually. Okay, stand on the edge this time. Okay. She's fine, everybody. Don't look. Go forward. Okay. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shut up. Seriously, there's like robots and droids and little everything pulling through this. Alright, I'm back. The cat is, um, submit, I mean, fine. It gets dodgier and dodgier, these are way. Just, just wait, let's give each one a dodginess score from now on. Okay. I'm gonna base this one out of five. Out of, no, out of ten. I'm gonna give this one a four. Because there was all sorts of crap flying through that one. I'm, Wait, I'm is, is one the dodgiest or is ten the dodgiest? Ten is the dodgiest. Okay, so too dodgy. Yeah. Well, the facility is being rebuilt. You may notice there's less crap lying around the place progressively as you move on. And there's more pristine cubes. I mean, look at that. That's fine. Yeah, I know, but when it comes again, it's going to be like... You <laughs> see like a thousand corpses, a few... Corpses. Bits of things. I don't know about corpses. I feel like all the corpses that are... Oh, look, a bunch of cubes. See, I told you. Cube can be considered. Oh, never mind. Well, where'd they even go? This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Oh. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. What's that doing? What the hell? You, you have to time it. So, Aerial Faith. So, this game, by the way, has loads of new concepts added to it. That just gets you a new cube. It won't do any good. Um, so, loads of new concepts. This is the first one was the bean, the second one was the bean cube, and this third one is the Aerial Faith Plate. One of my favorite new devices added to the game. Um, so, <laughs> it's not gonna stop. It's. Oh my god, it's. What now? Okay. Holy crap! So to get out of here, I need to put that on there, and that's pretty simple. Oh, good lord! Just take just take a few seconds to realize. Admire. How, how clean. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> how clean and beautiful. Not most mind. of it is. It was, it was ruined just when I looked over here. There's like a single drip. Okay, do the test. There's a single drip that's leaking over here, and then over there they've got pristine like waterproof. So what exactly is? Oh, this is where I land from the other side. I see. So yeah. I have to catch the cube on the way over. Yeah. Very well done. This test doesn't involve any portals at all. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. down. It we just take down. carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Actually, now that you mention it, dodging a scale of five, um... In a movie I watched called Stargate Universe, they do exactly the same thing. They remove carbon dioxide instead of putting in oxygen, because in space there's no new oxygen. So they just do what's called scrubbing the air, and they remove all the carbon dioxide and just get the oxide out of it. So when you put oxygen in, you put Let's out the carbon. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, Take out the carbon and put out the oxide, plates. which is... Well, have fun soaring through the dioxide. air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Well, whose fault Why would you make... Yeah, it's your fault for making a wing made entirely out of glass. A wing? God, this thing is wise, well. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. I actually cried. You didn't hear it because I cut it out. In fact, this is post-recorded message oh. letting you know that I had to cut this part of the audio out because I'm crying. Oh. Where is this going? <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know if there's a way- oh yeah, you can portal back. Blue one. By the way, I don't know if this is because my graphic settings are low, but I don't think it is. Uh, you didn't hit it properly. Um, I don't think this is my 
This might, I don't know if it's because my graphic settings are low or not, but the, notice the lights on the portal gun don't show up anymore. The lights showing you which portal you last fired. I mean, it, it's not really gameplay-wise very important, but I did really like that as a feature, and it's not here anymore, so that's kind of sad. I don't know why it's gone. Alright, blue portal. By the way, it plays music as you launch through this thing, so that's pretty cool. Crap, crappity doo. Crappity doo, that's in your saying. What do I need now? Come on. Uh, hooks it, hooks it. And all smart thinking. Yes, yes, yes. You should gotta be careful not to hit the wrong button and stop the recording. <laughs> Oops. And if you do, we have to notice. Yes, we do. You guys tell us. <laughs> if we screw that up. Tell us, like, if there's a huge chunk of the game missing. Alright, so, while we're talking about this crap, we need to figure out what this button is. Push the button. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Oh, Try the to avoid the garbage hurt oh, the all sorts of stuff. Get out of the way. Why is the frames drop? It was a good 22 before, now it's like 15. God, you broke the game. No, it's probably oh, just because these test chambers so that you gotta press it again. There's like a... It's not the real, it's broken. Yeah, I know. It's just tragic to see it going if, if it wants friends and stuff like that. So I have to what? catch this before it falls off. Yeah. I think you have to catch it. Yeah, it'll roll off the floor. Oh, never mind. No, you can go down and get it. Can I? Yeah. Oh, that makes things more simple. <laughs> oh, radio. Yeah. It works. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Your garbage. Oi. <laughs> oh, yes. That same crappy music is playing 200 million years in the future. It's been playing all this time. Just like the lonely robots. You're not thinking outside. Oh, I the just portal. put the cube in. God damn it. Easy, really. I just need to think a little bit. I ask myself questions out loud before I even realize I'm asking a question. It's actually kind of easier to play this game while recording it because you have to talk. All the Remember time, before so you when I was talking out. about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was talking about you. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. So, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Well, thank you for making that clear. You don't have to wait for her to finish the line, by the way. She'll keep going. Uh, I, I, the elevator will keep going, and she'll finish her line before the loading screen comes up. Yeah, yeah. At least I think so. Oh. Also, notice the aperture sign is clean now. Yeah, she, she had time to clean the loading screen. Did you <laughs> Guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. <laughs> it's kind of spoiled with the I'm subtitles. Sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Something interesting is why why is your name G L capital and then A DOS? I think it stands for something. Yeah, DOS is um, and and is like is like uh or sorry A is the and. Oh jeez, oh. what the hell is happening? Something's breaking. Jeez, what the hell on lag? Oh, I think I know what's going on. Alright, we gotta start recording. Goodbye! We never left. Oh, we're back. No, no, we never left. We, we never left. left. Okay, I think the... Oh, okay, we oh. might only have time to do a few more uh, test chambers, because my hard drive space is getting kind of low. That's not a problem. It's... Oh, by the way, check it out! Can we not stop? Companion Q! Oh, I mean, maybe we do. Yes, we do. Be watching. Okay, so what do I do now? Uh, there's a cube that you need. Think, um... Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab my another only one. Cube. That was my only oh, button. It fell. She just dispensed into it automatically. Oh. Mm. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this. Ooh, now you gotta think of some outside of the box as well. Or inside of the box. Sort of different from what you've been doing before. Inside of this weird shaped place. Huh? Whenever you say, nah, that's not true, I know you're hiding something in the story from me that's happening in the future that I've already guessed. It's happened a few times already, guys. Okay, I'm gonna break it to you. <laughs> it, the place hasn't been found. <laughs> that's a shame. 
Oh, uh, well, I guess it sort of has been found. It's hard to say. Alright, complete the test. Do your testing. I really don't know. Okay, you start by picking up the cube. And then doing something with it. Breaking the oh, No. I fizzled that one too. Oh, you're annoying. Oh, well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Awesome. Okay, so that breaks it. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. He's actually popped up a few times and you failed to notice, but I'm glad you noticed it at least one time before. Uh, I mean, what? Nothing's happening. He's I controlling GLaDOS. I see your mouth twitching. He's. <laughs> Why do you think that? He's English. I think anything. English people never do anything wrong. I can speak from experience. No Joe from the podcast? He never does anything wrong. Ever, ever, ever. Except when he speaks or address out loud. Seriously. He never. Uh... <laughs> he never. Uh, yeah. uh, that's the one I wanted to listen to. <laughs> Alright, let's just ignore what he said that. I mean, I could cut it out, but what's the point of that? Yeah, exactly, we want Joe to know that you're talking about him on his back. Alright, well, you messed up now. I th already. Oh, wait. Yeah, you messed up. No, it's not, that's not how you sold it. <laughs> you need to get the cube button without leaving. Get the cube on my way down, maybe? You're acting like you know what you're doing, but I'm not sure you do. No, no, not the ball. God damn it, I didn't mean to go in the ball. I just wasn't looking for it. Just down here. Do this again. Fuck it. Note to future Cameron, I think I might have to cut some of this out, because it's taking him... His, his train of thought. Wild. <laughs> Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. <laughs> Here's my idea. What if I were to take something? It's possible. I'm just letting you know. Just the, all these rooms, walls are portable. 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 Oh, but that closes the door. Doesn't matter. You've already put the portal on the other side. <laughs> this is optional, by the way. <laughs> you don't have to take it with you. It's, the it's playing music as well. Oh, preservation of mass. Look at that, I got an achievement. That, not that way. Oh, oh it keeps the door open. That's nice. In case you're like me and you just don't fail to notice. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. Oh, good We Lord. just have a lot of them. Oh my god, did you just scratch blood? Hang on, we gotta pause the recording. I think Connor just caused himself, like, to scratch blood out of his heel. Okay, we're back. Connor's wound. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Like, his leg just started bleeding for no reason. And we went, and he's like, oh no, no, I'm fine. I'll just let my bleed fall out of blood. And so he's just sitting in this really uncomfortable cross-legged position. Like a tissue in between his leg. And stuff. It's getting worse and worse, isn't it? <laughs> this it next test involves is. emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. What? Well, what well, was that for? Oh, yeah, they're incorporating them into the main puzzles. They did that in the last game as well, but, you know, it's interesting. Oh, I like the puzzle. Actually, this puzzle could be pretty difficult. Pull through that. Oh, no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, <laughs> if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think that test is supposed to be solved a different way. I'm not sure. I'm, that involves this step ladder somehow. 
but you managed to avoid it completely. <laughs> in fact, you managed to avoid the Emancipation Grill completely. There may, been, there may as well have been a wall there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, here we go. Chapter 3, The Return. Oh, dear me. The Return of what? Oh, what do you think? The little ball guy. The ball guy. You notice that I'm watching him. <laughs> so if we can build itself and give it some time, figure out how it's doing, and then give us some time to also bring the other guy back. I like how to bring out the old crappy ones with the new ones from the warehouse. <laughs> he said he's got loads of them in. Because I pay attention to the story. So sometimes if the story's worthy. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do this jumpy. Oh, it's me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm back. Oh, God. Very okay, Flame Player is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Yep. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. <laughs> Try it now. It worked, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> But you know he's alive. Not too much more, but he's alive. Oh, well, that worked. Alright, um, it's getting quite late, <laughs> and, um, also my hard drive is beginning to freak out with my computer, so I think it should be the last test chamber that we do. Drive freaking out. You need to finish this test quickly. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, just place the cube. Good lord, it's not too hard. We're only running at 5 FPS. Oh my god. We I, I shouldn't have said that because we are. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to finish this test in the next episode because oh my god, something's freaking out. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!